guys, welcome to another video of Fins and Tails. For today's video, we will learn the basics of aquascaping. John will be teaching us the basics of uh, aquascaping. So John, uh, what is aquascaping? Uh, aquascaping is the art of the planted aquarium. So mostly covered the um, uh, any style of aquascaping as, as an art. So same as gardening, like the banamoy landscaping, lovely or a simple garden. So landscaping is other terms of uh, aquascaping in, in aquarium. Okay. So now, uh, uh, these are the basic equipments. No? So John, uh, what are these? So our basic equipments mostly used in our aquascaping is uh, we have tools, uh, very important. This, this is your uh, parang ra right Gar hand. Gardening. Uh, Gar gardening, tools. Gardening, gardening tools. Gardening tools. Okay. So we have this one is a sand scraper. Sand Some scraper. Pang -pang 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 so we have scissors for trimming the plants. Mm -hmm. So we have small scissors. Uh, this is used mostly as moss, you know, trim the moss, to form the moss. And a curve of uh, tweezers. Uh, like for example, if you do planting like the, uh, in the inner part, it's hard to plant. So you can reach the, yeah, inner, can reach part. the inner part. So this one is a straight uh, tweezers. So this is used as uh, planting like the stem if walang inner part. So you can uh, plant it anywhere. And we have this uh, algae scraper uh, to clean your glass. There's an algae. And we have brush to... Any brush from the hard yeah, any brush. Any brush. <laughs> we'll can, do. Uh, any brush can do. So you, uh, you can use this also to brush if you have hardscape and stone. And malagyan siya ng sand so you can brush to clean it up. So you're using Dymax brands? Yeah, we have. So you recommend? We are using Dymax. You recommend uh, Dymax yeah. brands? We went through the, the basic uh, the tools now. So uh, how about the tank? So what's what's the good a good size tank to start with? Uh, the good size tank to start with is mostly we recommend 60 cm like this. So it's a standard uh, 60 cm 15 gallon tank. So uh, it's easy for the beginners to uh, start with a, uh, as a starter to do a post -game. Not too big, not too small. Yeah, not too big. Not too so these are, what are these? So this is our hardscape, we call it hardscape. Uh, this is our, uh, we use our hardscape is stones, we have the stones, so these are real stones. So Rio stones. Rio stones, so we call this uh, Rio stones. So this is a very natural look if you use this one. So we have the wood, the wood, uh, this is pretty wood. Uh, something, this is a root part of a wood, so it's very hard. So this most, uh, not all not all wood can be used for yes we need to test it uh, recommendation is a hardwood about hardwood hardwood yes uh, the next one would be the soil the soil yes the soil so this is our basic uh, base soil yeah base soil these are base element for our plants uh, to grow so we need a soil the next one would next be is CO2. So in, in a planted aquarium, uh, this is the basic foundation of the plant. So plants is composed of, like us, 80% uh, carbon. We are humans and most 90% uh, water. Water, so, yeah. So plants is carbon. So they need this CO2 uh, to, to survive. So this is their basic food. And we need light also. So these are basics 
uh, to do a costume. And, and the plants. Yeah, I need the plants for so our... So what, what, what type of plants are these? So this is... Uh, I just bought this plant for this setup. So this is a uh, Rotala Dondopolia. So this is a stem plant. So there are plants for foreground, middle, and yes. the back part of back the... Part. So this is mostly the back, background plants. These okay. are the, the yes. tall ones, the, the long ones. So in aquascaping, uh, we have these uh, areas we call uh, foreground, like I said, mid-ground and background. So this is plant is used for background. So it's a stem plant, it will grow uh, taller. And next is, this is our for foreground, this is our carpet, we call this HC. What is that? HC? HC. So in a short, I don't know. I cannot. The scientific name. The scientific name. I cannot. What's that? It's a. It's an HC for sure. Ground, ground. Yeah, it's a foreground. Foreground plant. Ah, for a carpeting, something carpet. So there's plants for the front, the middle part, and the back part of the aquascaping. Yes. So let's talk about the tanks. So I heard that there are two types of tanks. Yes. In aquascaping, we use. Two types of aquarium uh, tanks. So we have this low, ultra clear low iron aquarium. It's uh, low iron composed glass. So that's why ultra clear. It's a white glass. Mm -hmm. And the other one is the regular glass. Uh, it's more on iron. That's why it's a green color. So mostly the uh, high-end aquascaping setups uh, they use they use low iron tanks. So the clarity is more important for them. Once the tank is uh, fully set up with the filter, uh, CO2, light. the light, what are the basic maintenance? Uh, usually, ang, ang ginagawa namin is uh, sa thrice a week kami nagawa water change. Ilang percent? Uh, 30 percent. Kung busy naman yung lifestyle mo, pwede once a week, 50 percent. Ginagawa namin to para ma-address namin yung existing fields na nililich ng aqua soil. O, kasi ang ginagawa ng halaman pag bagong tanim, nag establish sila ng roots. So yung nutrients na nasa water column, okay. hindi nakakain ng plants. So ang kumakain nun, algae. So para ma-prevent mo yung algae, nagwa-water change kami para matanggal yung existing nutrients. Malagyan ng bagong tubig. Then after nun, after one month, pag fully cycled na siya, that's the time na kakain na rin yung plants sa water polo. So every week pa rin? Every week water change? Oh, once, uh, after one month, once a week na lang, mag water change. Once a week. Yun lang? Yes. Yun lang. Then fully establish na yung roots niya sa ilalim. So you replace ka na lang ng... Cylinder CO2. CO2. Pag, pag naubos. So. Where, where can you have your... CO2 refill. Ah, meron naman tayo dito sa mga local na ano, gas, mga gas, uh, mga planta na mga CO2, yung mga is it, nitro. Is it the same with the hospital? Ano? Uh, the yes, oh. itong sa amin, industri uh, industrial grade kasi ito, industrial tank. So pwede, meron rin naman yung iba, yung gaya ng sa Dymax, kailangan mo siyang magparefill ka doon, kailangan ka magpagawa ng uh, adapter kasi iba iba yung bulb niya iba iba so yung prepare naman ng sa planta yung uh, ganito industrial kasi yung hindi na kailangan magamit sila lagay ng adapter, adapter. Um, papagawa mo talaga For, for our CO2, uh, we are using 
uh, regulator with solenoid. The reason for this solenoid is it will automatically turn off uh, basic science when the CO2, uh, the plants will absorb only CO2 when there's a light. So just like our daylight outside, the plants will only absorb. So the solenoid will automatically turn off the CO2 when the light's off. So you have to put this into a timer switch together with the light. So, So that's our video for today guys. Uh, thank you Jan for having us. Saan ka bilang makontak? Yeah, we can, you can contact us uh, at Facebook, uh, Aqua Age Studio and Instagram, Aqua Age Studio. Aqua Age Studio. So guys, uh, to our new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Uh, please like and share the video. Uh, yung mga nagpapa shout out. Hindi uh, ko dala yung listahan. So, the next video na lang. So guys, thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos.